Guys, it's Joe. I'm in Nashville today because, well, that's where I live. But more importantly than just being in Nashville, I'm with my friend Justin Cordelieu at Soul Train Studios. Now, Soul Train, if you don't know, is in the Berry Hill part of town, which, uh, so my tracking room is just right down the street. Blackbird is right down the street on the same road. Yep. Uh, Universal House of Blues around the corner. Yep. Vance Powell is down. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's such a cool, such a cool part of town to be in. There are so many studios. Right across the street is another studio. They're everywhere. Next door is another studio. Yeah. Ryan Hewitt's got a spot. It's They're everywhere. It Plus, is we have Brothers Burgers and we Baja Burrito. Yeah. Okay. Staples. You have. To. <laughs> yeah. It's, I think by law, yeah. you have to go to those Yeah, if you come to town, you, you gotta yeah. go to Baja Burrito and then to just stop in and say hi to Justin all yeah. the way. But can we have a tour? Absolutely, all come right, on let's in. let's do it, let's do it. I see some cool looking guitars in it. Oh yeah, we've, we've got a few a few house guitars. Uh, some of them are, are the studio manager, Sam's. I, I bet there's a story behind this guy. Yes, there is. I wish it was mine, it is not, sadly. Sam Melrod, our studio manager, he somehow found it Someone was selling it, it was in a barn, and he got it for nothing, and then took it and got it fixed up, and it's so cool. It, it just, sounds amazing. It's just so cool looking. Do we even know what it is? It is a Gibson... Uh, 31. Gibson... Oh, oh. L O thirty one. Wow. Gibson an L O thirty one. Gosh, I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? Just because I'm a nice guy. Yeah. I'm gonna give Sam like fifty bucks, and I'll he can take just it. take that home. Yeah. And I'll, yeah, and I'll just take it. the guitar. Yeah. Fifty dollar. I mean, you know, he made it, since it was free. He I will would have start made off 50, a little lower. Okay, I give him twenty. Offer him twenty five. Yeah. Okay. That sounds that's like a good plan. <laughs> okay, so I'm, we're in the live room, obviously. Yes. Yes. Oh wow! I haven't seen those in a minute. Yes, yes. They these are uh, Altec. I forget the number, but um, the big the, reds. The big reds. That's that's those it. were the speakers of of the era. Yeah, know, for so long. And when we moved in, this was these were the mains. So these were Scruggs. They were Scruggs. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. And the uh, late great Snake Reynolds. Uh, he mixed. A ton of a ton stuff of hits on, on those. Tracked a ton of stuff in here. If you if you haven't, if you don't know who we're talking about, Snake Reynolds, Google that. Google that. Um, so great, good. legendary, historical Nashville engineer. Uh, every player, every every player from that era that I know that was still working when I got into town, they just loved that man. You know, because oh. they knew the headphones were going to sound amazing. Yeah, they loved to work with him. He was one of the nicest guys ever. And when when we were looking to 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 purchase this and uh and kind of getting the run through, he was such a sweetheart. Took us around. We we didn't even know that there was an M249 and yeah. a C12 yeah. and he's like, "Hey, and he found this secret compartment like in So some of this stuff came with the property. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got all the mics and the, the piano. The console that was originally here was not one that we wanted to keep. Right, it, right. Uh, it was the, the Neve. Had seen better days. But. Yes, and it was a Neve, but it was a Neve in name only. It was the 8232. I remember. So it was after Rupert had left. Yeah. It was chip based and yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. All ribbon cables, no motherboard mm -hmm. for the uh, I.O. and knee cam automation. So it was not yeah. current. Right, uh, but then we found, and we'll we'll get to that when we get in. Okay, we, we found an SSL just... that in town that was awesome. Love me some SSLs. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Looks like we got. Is this an old? Is that that's a Ludwig yep, kit, right? It's an old Ludwig kit. Uh, this is also Sam's, but it lives here. Uh, and then we also have a Gretsch uh, renowned maple kit. That, okay. So we have two different looks. Um, you know, the Ludwig's awesome for that. You okay. Know, fat. So is this the same Sam that I'm going to give twenty five dollars for yeah. the old guitar? Yeah. Yeah. This is a really old drum set. Yeah. So I, I'm probably going to offer him a hundred bucks for this one. He'll, he'll take again, it. I'd go low. But. Go low, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'm up to 75 now yeah. for a drum kit and a guitar. Mm -hmm. Old Ludwigs, dude, that's oh, one of my just, jams. Yeah. They're amazing. I mean, and the they tom really sounds so good. And if you want something poppy, the, the Gretsch is great. For, for um, anybody that's out there that's thinking about a house kit kind of thing, uh, as a drummer and a recording engineer, they ask, you know, some guys ask, what, what is it about, you know, why do you love the vintage? Uh, Ludwigs or vintage drums, drums in general, thin shells that resonate very freely mm -hmm. with the reinforcement hoops. So this package basically was a three ply uh, shell with three 
apply reinforce. So it's six on the outside, three on the inside, and the it's it just resonates and it's just it it's blooms. So it's beautiful, just, yeah. musical. Uh, you, you just you can't you can't get a bad sound. So that you know that's a thing to look for. Uh, thin ply drums. Drummers love them. See some great snares over there too. Yeah, yeah, we've got we've got a few snares. So what do we we got about? That, that's pretty pretty hot. Was that about ten foot ceiling something like that? I, you know, I haven't measured it because um, I don't think I could dunk on that. That's maybe no, 11, yeah, maybe eleven, twelve. Yeah, there might be eleven. We got. So originally it was a little bit lower, mm -hmm. um, and and the way that this was laid out, there was no entrance uh, through the lounge. That was a booth. There was a booth back here, another booth there. It was you know that mm -hmm. that era, that, right, and, right? And you would cut the drums in the drum booth. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. How not, dead can you make them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which is cool. Oh, which is sure. Really that's, a, cool. that's still a sound. It's still a sound, um, and we had the option, you know, but. Um, I wanted to make something a little bit bigger, a little bit more uh, usable. And you know, it's so weird when you're when you're building a space, you don't know how it's going to sound. Mm -hmm. it, you know, you, we had Steve Durr come in and he did the all of the acoustics and uh, and he has this special design for the bass traps, which are awesome. Mm -hmm. he, he does a great job. Still, you don't know until you record. Yeah, and so yeah. I remember the first day going, as long as it's usable, I will be happy and then yeah, if we yeah. you know have a big budget we'll cut somewhere else they sound amazing in here nice. it's one of my favorite rooms the room records about twice as big as it is and i think that's that has to do with you know the angles so this this wall is it's got a bit of an angle in that it's got a, an angle here and you know, having the drywall and 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 being on a crawl space, mm -hmm. you know, does something to the low end. That's that's really nice. Do you have like a resonance? Yeah, there's a so little the kick bit. Drum of, uh, extends. Yeah, there's okay. a little bit of that in a very good way. Okay, Th there's somehow there's, just works kind of thing. It, it's yeah. one of the yeah, yeah, it works. And and I I remember putting up the the room mics the first session, and I went, oh my god, these are amazing. And because that's something that's so hard to capture, like a good room sound. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and we just we got so lucky. Um, it's probably going to distort the mics. Oh, go for it. Yeah. I see. I see. I don't have a. I don't have a kick pedal, but yeah, I don't know what happened. To kick I, yeah, the, no, I do like the sound of the room, though. Yeah. The low end is tight. Yeah. But, but sustained a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel you. I feel that. Very cool. Got a B3? Got a B3. It's a cherry. Um, it was probably one of those kept in grandma's living room or maybe, you know, a, a church and never got moved except for on Sundays, you know. Th th those things are just such an impressive piece of machine. Oh. I remember the first time uh, I was at a studio and uh, Murph, uh, he's like the repair guy in Nashville, yep. uh, pulled it out and took, you know, had the back off of it. And I got to see all the tubes and all the movie. I was just like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> it it's really crazy. is. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't understand it. I, That's for people smarter than me. I, it could be a screensaver for me. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's mesmerizing. So you do like maybe some acoustic guitar, some vocals in here, yes. upright bass or something. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is a great space. So this was all originally one room, and that was the drum booth. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we separated it so we have a separate spot. A lot of times it's either acoustic you, or You mean these vocal. two rooms? Yes. Were, okay. These two rooms were Under just one room. Understood. And it was a way that we could use the space. There was so much history in this building. Yeah. That yeah. we didn't want to tear it down. We didn't want to augment the footprint of the space. Mm -hmm. uh, we kept the original floor underneath this. Oh, gotcha. Because the, the, there's just so much, you know. Some cool we, people have walked on those boards. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Willie and Willie Nelson. Willie, Willie Nelson. Willie yeah. Nelson. Willie Nelson. The list goes on. But you know, and when you're making music in a room, you have, this is going to sound kind of hippie, but I feel like the wood, it, it's all about resonance and vibrations and and some of that gets baked into the... Uh, I, no, dude, that it doesn't sound weird at all. Yeah. I believe it 100%. That's what makes a vintage guitar and a vintage drum so special. They've, they've resonated. Yeah. A million times until they resonate at a per, at, at perfection yeah. all the time. Yeah, you know, I hundred percent believe it. I yeah. get it. And I, I'm a big believer in the magic of of spaces too. I, n nothing I hate worse than seeing an old studio 
that has history get getting torn down. Oh, you know, we've we've seen worse. that. Uh, we've seen too much of yeah. it. Yeah, and luckily we've seen we, a few saved also. Yes, yes, we have. Which is great. Uh, our piano is this a what? What do we have? This is a, a C7. Yeah, the okay, C7. great. Nashville standard. Nashville standard, and this one is kind of a rare bird. Um, it has a single piece ivory uh, keys, so you know a, a lot of. A lot of times you see the two piece, uh, the you know the the skinny part in between, and then the the big part. But this is a D serial number, so that what's probably is that a early eighty? Is it? I do not know. I, I would assume because this, I believe it was uh, Scruggs, Randy Scruggs uh, yeah. got it in. I think it was eighty one. I think or that so? that yeah yeah because I I had a piano tuner teach me I don't really remember but about the the you know the first letter and the serial number meet you know what it means and yeah so yeah this is um this is a find here yeah and it was not in great shape but um you know, we took it to uh, Seal Key Works and yeah. they went through and they had to restring it um, is that Brent Arledge that's not Brent Brent. Comes in here and, and tunes, tunes all the time. Okay. I know who you're talking about. I've, the tuner, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and they did a fantastic can't remember, job. Can't remember his name, uh, but I've seen him a million times around town. His walk last in. name is Seal. One, one thing, <laughs> one thing. Uh, when you work in commercial studios, uh, you know, like I'm sure you have as well. Uh, the engineers are a lot of times the first ones to the sessions before the musicians show up. And a lot of times we get there when the piano tuners are there. Always. So yeah. other, so we're like the ones, other than the studio managers, that develop a relationship with the piano tuners. You yep. kind of get that familiarity and you start, you know, kind of visiting. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a vintage C12 right here. Uh, yes, yes. Nice. We, that was one of the finds that... Uh, so that <clears> came <throat> with the place, too. That came with the place. So, but this is yours and not, and not Sam's, right? Correct. So I can't offer you a I can't offer you a low ball price on this one, can Sadly, I? Sadly, no. You're too smart. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll see. We'll see about <laughs> Sam's gear. But, but yeah, that's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank on you. That. Thank you. That it sounds absolutely gorgeous. Oh gosh, I yeah. It's one of my favorite acoustic mics. I mean, vocals we know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Overheads, fantastic. Acoustic, I love it on acoustic guitars. Oh, it is just love a C12. The open uh, top end, the detail. Yeah, yeah. And it's just it's so beautiful. Put put it through a tube. I've, I, there's a handful of pre's that I love combined with them. Yeah, that that makes the top kind of round. Yeah, but still that sparkle. Oh, yeah, gosh, it's magic. Yeah, it's is this, beautiful. Is this a uh, for guitar amps just for extra isolation? Yeah, okay. yeah. So um, you know we have a few options. We've got two of these. Uh, you know, space was limited with uh, you know, because we didn't want to mm -hmm. uh, knock it down or do t anything to the uh, original structure. So we we have that. Uh, we we do have a B room. It right now uh, we have a client in there, but we're able to tie into that. Okay, and we and it's got its own separate. Booth. So if no one's working in there, you can use that booth. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, which is great. Uh, uh, you know, the way we work in Nashville, and, and this, we're real, very, pr us, we <laughs> are still very proud of this. The fact that we still put five guys together in a room yeah. uh, daily. You know, so you get, we'll have drums, we'll have bass, we'll have keys, acoustic, electric, and sometimes... Two electrics or yeah, a steel or, or two electrics and a steel. Yeah. Um, you know, if it's country and the magic of hearing the drummer say one, two, three, four, and it sounds like a record from the downbeat it's, is a special thing. There it, is nowhere I, on it no. on the planet where you get that. Yeah. It's it's only a Nashville thing and it's Seems Amazing. to be. I'm hearing good things about some of that stuff being done in uh, Muscle Shoals now. Oh, yeah. Again, which yeah. is really exciting. I know there's still places in L.A. that do it, but, uh, you know, I, I, I know there's a lot more um, one at a time kind of thing being done now as well. And it's, it's probably genre specific. Yeah. A lot more programmed music. You know, you don't need five real musicians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a beaut. Yes. Woo. Yes. So that is the M249C, Revision C. And uh, yeah, it is absolutely a, a, a gorgeous microphone. One, one of my favorites. Oh. A female vocalist that is just a little um, strident or piercing, uh, the sibilance issues and things like that. That's kind of like one of my go-tos to oh. kind of calm it down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I love those things. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Wurlitzer. Yep, and uh, it's the beige one. Uh, so I I'm not. A keyboard guy, but mm -hmm. from what I understand, with the Whirlies, um, you had you know the 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 black ones mm -hmm. that you know uh, that it, we've we've seen everywhere, and those were for the students. And apparently, this because it had the uh, the cabinet, 
It was for the teacher uh, so that the class could hear. So I bet Correct sometimes me if I'm you wrong. can tighten up. I'm sure people will. Uh, I see a lot but of that movable is what I panels. Heard. If you choose to, you can yes. probably kind of kind of uh, tailor spaces if you want to. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and and uh, that's, we, we do. We have some of those, and we that we use them that way, and it really works. Yeah, it's fantastic. We've cut things that are you know, 80s style, huge live. Um, you know, rock drums. And then, uh, you know, we pull the baffles in. We've got a few lower ones, uh, you know, kind of half size mm -hmm. that we could put in front and get that tight 70s, you know, yep. uh, booth sound. But they, they make, those kind of things just make a big room, a big live room so versatile. Yeah. You know, it's just, it, you can completely change the color of the room uh, and anywhere in between. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so, so, so great to have those. Kind yeah. Of I'll set up, uh, especially doing gang vocals. I'll set up a, uh, like a vocal booth Yeah, and yeah. For, for different textures, I'll angle the gobos sometimes so that they're, you know, tight and then kind of spin them the opposite way. So it opens up the room and, you know, have the guys yell into the walls <laughs> instead of the mic. And... Are both sides, uh, absorbent? Yes. Yeah. yeah yes. Gotcha. These are both, uh, both sides absorbent. We had enough of the reflection <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. in here, but um, it's whoever picked that out is is uh, got great taste. Oh, is that yeah. you? No, that's no, that's no, really no, no, cool no. looking. Yeah, we had uh, an interior decorator, Lori Priangipe. Uh, she came in and she did all the interior design. Well, that that is a cool light fixture. Well, Thank what if you. we what if we look at your control room? Yeah. yeah Ooh. I mean, those are yes. some big PMCs yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, we went uh, we went big. Um, these are the MB3s, and uh, they they sound fantastic. Um, I'm I'm really happy with those. I, I'm obviously a PMC fan. I've got the two two sixes. I do want to get the new um, either the six twos or the sixes. Do you ever work with John Mayfield for mastering? I listened. To his MB3. I was gonna say, I'm thinking that's the one. That's the yep. same model he has. Yeah, and he's got the yeah. XBD cab okay. that goes underneath. We didn't do that because we we do have a sub in the back. If you want a little extra, you know, support in the low end, but right. uh, they they are, uh, they will tell the truth. <laughs> and yeah. when it's wrong, whether it's you want to hear it or not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, maybe that's why I don't have them. I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have our buddy Eric here behind yes. camera, which all the PLAP crowd loves. Um, yes, but I want it. him to spin around and look right here because there's only a handful of these on the planet. They only made 250 of them to begin with. Wow. And you, I know of one other room in Nashville yeah. and one other individual. That's yeah, we it. just got and, it repaired. There's one guy in the U.S. And he's in Cleveland, uh, Beamish Audio, and we uh, we sent it up there, and but but it, it was a it was from the studio. It was no, Randy Scruggs. Oh, re really? Yeah. Oh, so it's got history. It's too. got a lot of history. So, um, just so you know, um, this is patterned after a UAD plugin. <laughs> that, 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 that's a, that, that is a joke. Uh, the UAD plugin is is actually for it's the fantastic. people. Since yeah. there's only a handful of these out there in the world. They they use the same algorithm, modeled the um, um, you know. Would I rather have the real thing because it's sexy? Absolutely. Yeah. But that is a great plugin. Yes, uh, you know. I use it. I still use it. So I not not to plugin. offend any of our friends no, at UA no, because no. we love their stuff. And speaking of UA, one of the best reverbs on mix, and it's upside down right now, but uh, is the golden pedal. I have I have never used it. I didn't know it anything is about it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, maybe our friends at UA ought to um, give me a call. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, and if they want to swing by yeah, Soul Train. <laughs> that's cool. I, you, you, we'll have to, uh, have to, you have to show me an example. Uh, 550Bs. Yep. 562s, two of my favorite pieces in the world. Uh, okay. I know for a fact, is this the Pulse? Is this the actual Pulse Tech, but yes. the solid state? Warren loves these. Those and it's the, um, I, I believe the A means, and I, I only, know this because Warren mentioned it on one of his videos. Uh, uh, I think it has the API op amp, so it's a bit punchier. Oh, uh, but, but it's it, solid state instead it's of tube. All, yeah. Which, so the bottom, end, the bottom end is different. Yeah. So if you had that op amp too, that, that, that magic API thing that it does to the bottom end, a tight bottom end, that's a cool. Oh, it's really I, cool. I, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Yes. Well, so... Tell it, me about that. It's the CBS Volume Max. What is it? The 440 or 410? CBS 410. as in like the, the television network. Yeah. 
It, it was a broadcast limiter. Okay. S still is, but just not on broadcast. Um, and it's just one of those odd pieces. Um, so a buddy of mine, Joe Zook, who's an awesome mixer, he's out in LA. Um, I, I remember he had a few of those. And, uh, and then I was over at Addiction when Kyle Muskie, uh, David Kyle Muskie was over there. And, uh, and he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting rid of it. Do you want it? And I picked it up for next to nothing. And uh, he's like, I don't know if there's anything wrong with it or, or what, but it just kind of doesn't have any top end, doesn't have this super low end, but it does this distortion in the low mids uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so I got it and started using it on my kick and snare. And it, it sends you to Motown, that like oh. puffy, slightly distorted, saturated low mids, uh, especially for the kick drum if you want to beef it up. And, and then, so I, I done a, a podcast or something and, and Joe called me. He's like, yeah, it's, it's broken. I've got a bunch of those and it does not sound like that. So <laughs> keep it broken. So keep it broken. <laughs> well, that's incredible. It. It's awesome. So do you use it as an insert? Do you loop it as like a, a parallel? Kind it's of? just a parallel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I run it as a hardware insert. I send out of my kick and, and snare buses because I, I route like the kick in and kick out yeah. uh -huh. to a, to an ox. And so I, I send to another aux, and I put that as a hardware insert, and then I, it, it's as, it's very scientific. I look over and make sure the needle is going as far left as possible, <laughs> right. and then I know red, it's good. Red, yeah. yeah, yeah. And what does it say? Uh, uh, excessive. It's normal or excessive. So I, um, I like to go excessive. And it, there are some controls, kind of, um, I was going to ask like, about that. Yeah, there's like a tweaker there. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I just plug it in. And, you know, if I'm in here, if I'm in a B room or if I'm mixing at home, I, just, I take it because it's such an important part of, of my drum sound. Yeah, I would love to, to uh, one of these days I'm going to walk up yeah. and I'm going to allow you to not allow you like it's a privilege. <laughs> I'm going to ask you if you I will shall deem you worthy. <laughs> yeah, I would love. I would love to hear that. You know, I'd love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Please do it because it is such a cool. Uh, it, it's such a cool sound. And then, and then I'll commit it. You know, as I, as I do with you know when I'm mixing with any of this gear, um, I'll use it as hardware inserts. And then right click and commit in Pro Tools, and uh, and that way I can take it home if I need to make tweaks and I don't have to yeah. recall anything. Mm -hmm. So how many years have you had this? Uh, just a couple of years. Okay, cool. But I love it. It is well. It's... So you got it for 150. Yeah. So what are they going for now? Have you if you ever looked? Yeah, I think it's about a thousand bucks. Or... So it's it magnified from that podcast. Yeah, yeah. And issue number two is if you get another one, it's not going to be broken. Yeah. So... Yeah. So you, they're just out of luck. I'm, yeah. They, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can try. Yeah. You can try to get it, but uh, you know, maybe take a hammer. You're costing me a fortune. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there's more yet to come. Oh Lord. I don't even. <laughs> but you know what? Before we get over there, yes. I want to because I am a NSSL uh, a holic. Oh man. Um, I wish I had this in my living room. I love this. I, I love everything about it. I love the this? compressors. I love the EQs. I love the uh, quad compressor. I love mixing through it, tracking through it. Um, the, it's just the black knob 4000E is, I don't think I'm overstating it if I say it's one of the most, to me, one of the most 10, top 10 most important pieces of music history, rock and roll history, especially yeah, yeah. as far as like what we do on our side of the glass. That's that sound, you know, where you can, because the soft end is kind of top, uh, or the top end is kind of soft. You can just dime that top end yeah. and it just gets more bite without getting harsh um, on a light like electric guitar at 8K. Oh. Wham. Oh. It's just so fun. Yeah. So fun. It, yeah. I mean, it is amazing. And one, one of the, one of my favorite aspects of it is when we're tracking, you know, I can monitor the EQ that I'm doing. And then if, if I'm like, you know what, this is just awesome. I'll just switch it over to channel and, and print it. Yeah. And it's, it, it's just that easy. You can switch it to either path. This was not in the building. No. Okay. No, Do you know no. the history of this one prior? Uh, a little bit. Yes. So we got this, um, we found it on Craigslist. And it was uh, Keith Gaddis. 
it was his console, and he got it for Charlie Bracco, his partner, because uh, Charlie was mixing a lot of stuff. So it was it was in East Nashville, and it, it had been fully recapped, and we went and checked it out with a tech, and it was the exact console that I wanted. It fit perfectly. The patch bay was on the correct side. Yeah. It, yeah. it was like meant to be. Nice. Uh, and on the on the far end, it's got the stereo channels. I was going to say that you got four channels of yep. stereo. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, which is cool because it's got that extra wide feature, which is kind of neat. Well, it's a beauty. Um, you should be, I know, I'm sure you are very proud of that. I yeah. am so in love with this. There'd be sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I bet, I bet you finish a mix 6.30 at night. And you sit till seven and just stare at it still before you go home. Yeah, with all the lights out. <laughs> right. It's amazing. I love it. That's mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's awesome. 18 you, uh, year old you would be proud. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love yeah, it. I yeah. love it. I love it. Well, let's start top left. Yeah. Woo. So top left, we've got um, the, the first two are uh, Neve 1066s, mm -hmm. uh, originally from Pete Townsend's console. Oh, that's unbelievable. And they were Shep, they're modified by Shep. Uh, okay. So they had the extra band of mid-range EQ. So what they would do is if, so these are some BAE or Brent Avril yeah. uh, 1073s. So you can see the footprint is the same, but they took the filter and moved it to the EQ and face, which they're just push button filters. Uh, and then they added the extra mid-range band on both of these. And what used to be the filter is now the low uh, frequency shelf. Gotcha. So you have high shelf, low shelf, and two mid range. And so these two are 1066s. These are proper 1073s that were just modified. So they've got the Mariner transformers, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they sound beautiful. And then these are the the Brent Avril's. You know, as far as clones or recreations, the Brent. I mean, there's no doubt those are uh, among the very best. Oh you can yeah. Get. I mean. It's, to me, it's a lot like owning an original. I mean, it's, yeah. it may not have the history, but it's it's the same thing. For, for, it, for, for all my, intents and purposes. Yeah, for, yeah, for my yeah. purposes, I yeah. I don't care. I could I could use either one. I agree. Back rack, under, mm -hmm. uh, what is it, undertone? Those is are the, undertones, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Oh, I have been wanting to try these. They Coil Audio. are amazing. They I have are, never, I, I, I've been threatening for about five years now to oh. demo. Do uh, it. And I haven't. Do it. They, do, do they still make, can you still get it in a, in a like a, in a this single footprint? Rack? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, that's because, you know, I, I don't have space for that, but I could do, um, oh, wow. Is that, you got it. That's Sam's. Yeah. So, oh, that is Sam's? Mm -hmm. That's very old, Sam. It's probably not worth more than $125. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. Is that, so a 350? 350? Uh, uh, I believe so, Sam. Yeah. Uh, 350. Yeah, 350. Yep. That's the one. That's the, the one. The one. The yeah. one. Uh, now I do have a little story about the 1081s. Uh, so the 1080, the top 1081, and the 2254s. One of my favorites ever. Oh, I love those as much as the console. Yeah, I believe. I, I believe it. Uh, so we got those from Nikki Six from oh. Motley Crue, who got them from Bob Rock. Oh, so it just keeps getting better. The history is crazy oh, on those. So yeah, we just love those. Uh, the the I know we're jumping down the but the twenty two fifty fours for me piano electric guitars. It, it doesn't even matter how much you compress them, uh, just what those transformers do to them. The diode bridge thing. I know there's oh. there's I'm sure people are watching. They're like, why are they? You know, I like I don't, I, I don't like them. I know there's a mixed emotion, you know, and, and when you start talking to people like us, I personally love the diode bridge. Oh, thing. I do too. Uh, uh, vocal bus, you know, tying a oh. group together, but but controlling it. Mm -hmm. Acoustic guitar, like you said. Yeah. Piano, oh. it's magic. Amazing. Absolutely magic. Uh, parallel compression too. Yeah. Uh, room mics. I mean, yeah, they're 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 not for everything, but the things what that they do because they got a certain grab. They, let's face it. Yeah. Um, but the things that they do grab in a pleasant way, they are. Beautiful. Oh, and the 33609, and this is the metal knob, so it's the original, you know. Oh, I vintage. just noticed that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's the original, original. On kick and snare, if oh, you yeah. just tickle that needle. You don't want to move, uh, the, you don't want to move the bury the needle on these guys. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. But just, just have it move a little bit. It, unbelievable. It, it changes the attack uh, in a way that. You just have to hear it. Yeah. yeah. You just have to hear it. Get your plug in. Get your 2254, 33609. 
you know, if you don't have the original, because uh, I, I know most of you probably don't, and try it. Just just do what he says and try it. <laughs> and uh, half of you are going to fall in love. The other half may not, and that, and that's okay. You me. can you, maybe you like the distressor better or something. But um, th- for those that that are going to love it, they're going to love it. That's yes. for sure. One of those pieces to me that fall under the radar in the pro audio world is this guy right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, magic. Mm-hmm. I was just talking to a friend the other day. In fact, I think it was Eric. <laughs> I believe it was. Um, <laughs> that about using this gently on group buses. Yeah. You know, a group of whatever. You know, m- name your group and put it on there. Mm-hmm. And, and there's something magical about the way it can, can re- control and reduce the dynamic range at the same time as it's making something sound more exciting. Yeah. That's, that's a feat. It, it is an you know? absolute feat. Because a lot of compressors, by controlling the dynamic range, which is great. We need that. But it's it's less lively, a little yeah. less punchy, a little less exciting it's in, a little in, flat. A, in a sense. Yeah. For so, somehow, I can reduce the dynamic range, but it sounds more alive and exciting yeah. than it did. You find the same thing? I I, I do. I yeah. use it all the time on tracking. I. I in, not for any reason other than I tried it and I liked it. Yeah. Um, I'll use it on overheads, and it's great. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to do that. Yeah. Like a mix or yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, but then, like, I'll run my, my mix through. I just, I mixed a record recently, and I, I just used that. I didn't use the, I, I tried every other two bus compressor, mm-hmm. and it, it just, it, it made it too small. And then I ran it through that. And only that, and didn't do a whole lot of reduction on it, just a little bit of control. And this, the uh, air, yes, air base yes. is amazing. Just real quickly, I don't want to uh, salivate on it too much. Yeah. It, there's Because there's a plug in version of this that's quite good. And it's, it's fantastic. And, and, I and still th- use There's it. a tape roll off to where the top end gets a little duller, a little more vintage sounding. Yep. And there's also, you can change the opposite, where it's like an e, like it's, you ran it through a Pultec yeah. and did a little bit of the high and low end thing. It To me, it takes it picks up where these guys left off. So if yeah. you have a vintage uh, variable mu circuit like this, um, this takes that and builds upon it. Mm-hmm. You know, like if they had, had not stopped yeah, and kept going. I feel like this is where they, you know, yeah, where we've left off. I, I love it. Yeah, me oh, too. Okay, enough SPL. <laughs> Tube Tech at CL1B. Standard yeah. Nashville. That came with the studio originally, so that's got a lot of history. Eleven seventy sixes, DBX one sixties, mm-hmm. four of them, which I, uh, I uh, snare drum. Tracking days, snare. On, Ooh, I, mm. You know, I, I've never used it on. I know, I know. Please I, tell me you will. I will. Try it. Try I will it. absolutely. Top and bottom, so they exact have they. Oh. Mm, yeah, yeah. I and will do that. I'll of do course, that next tracking. Just session. tickle it because you know how those oh, meters yeah, yeah, are. They, they'll they're, lie to you. Yeah. Um, but they are magic. This is pristine. It works great. Oh. We the only thing we had to do was replace the fan. Uh, everything else, where all the programs work, and it sounds glorious. Awesome. And the, and the prime time is where yes, my favorite. That's I another. Love it. That's another one of those pe- is hidden yeah. gems, isn't it? Yeah. You think a four eighty, you think a two two four, you think a nine sixty, but yeah, yeah. Are these solid state or tubes? These are tubes. Okay, yep. perfect. Yep. Awesome. The EQP one A threes, and they're the new ones. They're mm-hmm. the pulse. Uh, Unbelievable. We had, oh, I, I won't say the the, the brand, um, but we had another, and it was good. The low end was good, but the top end, it, it was a little bit too tinny. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's where a lot of the other pool techs kind of fall short, mm-hmm. is on that top end. But this, like, as soon as we plugged it in, I, I cranked, you know, did the whole... Sweet as honey, huh? Oh, my. Yeah. It's just so smooth and beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, we, we love the pool techs. Nice, nice. Of course, you can't, I mean, what do you say, right? The, the unfair child. Oh. Um, fantastic recreation. LA-2A. Okay, so this is the, re, the, the, the later reissue. Yes. Okay, yeah. yep. which are st- these, there's debates on the reissue stuff on the 1176s versus the LA-2As versus the LA-3As, which they only did for a little while. Yeah. Everyone agrees this reissue Right. There's no one says that it's like, it's, it's like, fantastic. yes, get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's great. Is that an RCA? It's an RCA BA6. Nice. Man. So that was the first piece that I got. Um, so 
The that, first piece you got the, was that? Yeah. Because, <laughs> there's a story. Oh, uh, okay. So, um, so I, I, I worked with Mike Shipley before he passed. Ah. And uh, that was his vocal compressor. Okay. Um, and A, it's amazing. It's one of the best sounding. It, it, it is so beautiful. Butter. Thick buttery but the top end there's there's a harmonic thing at the top that's just gorgeous um i i can't say enough about it it's uh, it's a beautiful piece so there's that but then also i i just out of respect yeah. and memory of of mike because he did he did so much for me and we, we we actually should mention for some of our younger viewers uh, half of you are being like mike shipley they're, they're doing this um the younger viewers that don't know that name google mike shipley that's a really solid guy to study oh, study goodness. some of his work um with mutt laying and not just with mutt with so many people yeah yeah um yeah five okay cool we've got some yeah some yeah. of the old some vintage uh 550 A's, mm -hmm. a couple of older 550 B's, um, the level or that is Sam's. Th that oh! <laughs> so I'm gonna walk out here with some nice yeah, stuff for a couple yeah, hundred bucks. Yeah, man, you think I can fool him? <laughs> I know you. Can. Okay, <laughs> yeah, All right. yeah. All I'll right. Think. Back me up on it when you tell I'm, him what I'm, it's I'm, worth. I got back, your back. back me up. Yeah. The, the, so are you, are you using that as an exciter? Uh, it if, literally if you, went into the rack today, so I have not. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, not, you can have some fun there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah uh, I can't uh, wait. Steve, uh, Steve Perry, uh, Journey, right? Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's that's, the, that's the vocal sound, sound yeah. going through one of those. I think. Yeah. That and his voice. Well, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can make me sound like Steve Perry going through there, I'm going to book some time with yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very cool. Well, so, I have yeah. really had a good time at uh, the control room. I like the size of it. Yeah. It, like if I'm in here working alone with my assistant, I'm going to be cozy. If I have a band, you know, that's uh, four or five musicians and a singer, I still feel like it's cozy. But yeah. we're all, we're all going to fit, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's a nice... Um, size for it you know for the not mega studio yeah you know what i mean I like yeah. It. yeah thank you thank you it beautiful place you should be really proud thank you we, we are the cloud with the design that's got your logo in yeah. it yeah doesn't it man i am jealous i'm jealous i'm gonna but but before i leave though i'm gonna mm -hmm. hit up sam of course and see yeah. what i can kind of what i can get away with for a few hundred bucks mm -hmm. but other than that i really appreciate your time man. oh no it's, problem it's, thanks it's for been coming. great to see you and uh you know another thing that i will tell these people um, is that Nashville is a kind of a special town in a lot of ways. You're surrounded by talent. Everywhere you go, uh, you go to order a hamburger and the guy's a better guitar player than you. I mean, it's insane. Yeah. It's just because that's why most people come here. That said, it's such a friendly community. Yeah. I mentioned that I have a tracking room right down the street, okay? We happen to have the same headphone system. <laughs> uh, have we ever met, though? Yeah, I can, uh, once or twice, but it was in. It was so quick. It seems like you Brandon working. is always in her, uh, One of my assistants, Br my old um, roommate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. All right. So all that to say, um, there's been numerous times where um, we've we've swapped gear because, yeah. like, out of necessity. Not hey, can I borrow this just because I want to see what it sounds like? It's me saying my B three is broken. <laughs> this cable is bad. What can we do? Yeah. You send your assistant out yeah. with a cable. We get through the day. You have had sessions before where you're like, dude, we we're, don't have enough headphone boxes. Yeah, we're short one. And I'm box. like, hey, we're not using two of these today. Take them. Yeah. And you've done the same thing to me. Yeah. So um, it's just a, it's a, such a great community to be a part of it. Everybody's like-minded mm -hmm. and loves um, their neighbor. Yeah. And, we're and all just, the same you know, team. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, 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 yeah. And that's, it's funny because you would think with all the studios, there would be competition, but it doesn't it's really, ever it feel doesn't, like that. It doesn't. It absolutely <clears throat> does not. We, we, we'll have Blackbird kids over here and, you They're know. the best neighbors. Yeah. They're uh, awesome. I probably shouldn't tell this, but they, you know, they send me donuts from time to time. It was like, oh, yeah. oh my God, you know, like, who does oh, that's that? Right. You're who does? I'm neighbors. right next door. Yeah. We share a parking lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just a great community and I'm, I'm glad you're part of it, bro. Yes, yes. So thanks again for having us. No problem. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching, guys. 